Welcome everybody, with you Dr. Magdi Abdelrazi, consultant of infectious diseases, hepatology, and gastroenterology. Our topic today about oral sex and HIV infection. Transmission can occur after one exposure. It is important to emphasize that a person could become infected from having unprotected sex once, or a person could have unprotected sex many times and do not become infected, regardless of how low or high the risk per exposure is. Uh, the chance of, uh, an HIV negative person will get HIV from oral sex with an HIV positive partner is extremely low. However, it is hard to know the exact risk because a lot of people who have oral sex also have anal or vaginal sex. The type of oral sex that may be the riskiest is mouth to penis oral sex, but the risk is still very low and much lower than with anal or vaginal sex. So the risk of HIV transmission through oral sex is low. Several factors may increase that risk, including source in the mouth or vagina or on the penis, the uh, bleeding gums, oral contact with menstrual blood, and the presence of other uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Risk of other infections, uh, other sex transmitted diseases such as syphilis, herpes, gonorrhea, chlamydia can be transmitted during oral sex. Any linguas can also transmit it, uh, can also transmit hepatitis A uh, and B, intestinal parasites like Giardia and the bacteria like E. coli. Reducing the risk, individuals uh, can further reduce already low risk of HIV transmission from oral sex by keeping their male partners from ejaculating in their mouth. This could be done by removing the mouse from the penis before ejaculation or by using a condom, using a barrier like condom or dental dam during oral sex. Uh, can further reduce the risk of transmission HIV, other sex transmitted disease and hepatitis. A dental dam is thin a square piece of latex or silicone that is, is placed over the vagina or anus during oral sex. A latex condom can also be cut uh, length wise and used like a dental dam. The risk of HIV transmission through oral sex is even lower if the HIV negative partner is taking a medicine to prevent HIV. This is called pre-exposure prophylaxis or the HIV positive partner is taking medicines to treat HIV. This is called antiretroviral therapy and is virally suppressed. It is possible to have sex with someone who is HIV positive and do not become infected. HIV is difficult virus to catch and the risk is probably less than 1 in 300 if the person is not on treatment. Uh, as regard, if the HIV positive person has an undetectable viral load on treatment, this small risk becomes zero. You may not have any symptoms at all for up to 10 years. At that point, HIV begins to make it hard for your body to fight off infection. So you can get infections that normally would not affect you. When your immune system reach, uh, reaches a certain point of weakness, that is when HIV become, it becomes AIDS, oral uh, diseases lead to many complications. Oral sex carries little to no risk for getting or transmitting HIV. <coughs> Theoretically, 
transmission of HIV is possible if an HIV positive man ejaculate in his partner mouth during oral sex. However, the risk is still very low and much lower than with anal or vaginal sex. There is the biological possibility that the oral mode of sexual contact with ejaculation can transmit HIV in less than 5% of cases. HIV lives in blood, semen, body fluid, and breast milk, so it can infect a person when it gets in through blood, either through mucous membrane or through the breaks in the skin. So, so through oral sex with ejaculation, what are the other risks that will increase the risk of transmission? Soreness, that is an ulcer, inflammation, any allergies, concomitant sexual transmitted disease, and immunosuppression. All these things further increase the risk of transmission of HIV through the oral route. So the question is, can HIV be transmitted through oral sex, fellatio, and cunnilingus? So the answer is yes, but the risk is relatively low, very low. If you are worried about HIV infection, you may wonder whether it is safe to have oral sex. While it is not risk-free, the chances of spreading the virus that causes it are very low <coughs> if you take the right precautions. The chance that you will get HIV from receiving oral sex, that means a partner mouth is on your genitals, is very low compared to unprotected vaginal or anal sex. But it is not easy to know what the actual risk is. This is because most people who have oral sex also have vaginal or anal sex. It is tricky to figure out each factor on its own. It is thought to be riskier to give oral sex rather than receive it. This is because you may have small cuts or sores in your mouth even if you are not aware of them. There is also risk from partner's fluids which may get into contact with your mouth and the throat. Mouth to penis oral sex is thought to be riskier than uh, mouth to vagina oral sex, but the risk is still much lower than with other types of intercourse. The chance of being infected with HIV from any linguist, this means oral anal sex, is also considered to be very low. Thank you very much.